let's next talk a bit about logical operators. We've seen this last week, uh, last lecture, but logic knows basically two states for a statement. This is true statements or false statements, right? Like true statement is the sun looks yellow. Yeah, probably. And the false statement is I'm 150 years old. Okay. So in C, our, we can have logical operators that we apply on expressions and values. And they have two, they know two values, false, that is represented by zero. And any non-zero value is basically represented as true. Okay. So again, we have logical operators, they work on numbers. A number is either false if it's zero or it's true if it's any other number. And we know that we have the truth tables um, that define the outcomes. They are rather similar to bitwise operators that we will learn, but they work on values. Okay, so we can have a logical AND, which is two ampersands, or the logical OR, which is two pipe symbols, or the NOT, which is an well, the exclamation mark, which is the negation. Okay, we see on the left hand side the input that we give, on the right hand side of this two table, two table, we see the output. So if expression one is true and expression two is true, then, well, both are true. A is true and B is true. That means the result is true, of course. So any other combination for AND is obviously false, right? Um, and for OR, we have the situation that one of them must be true and expression one is true and expression two is false, then the result is true. So you can go through all these cases and let me give you an example. So the sun is yellow or it is dark, right? Um, so if one of those two things are true, then the result is true. As the sun is always yellow, well, it's basically always true, but that is how it works. Okay, so these are binary operators. That means they take two inputs. So they take expression one and expression two as input and return one output. Not takes a single expression as input and negates it. So a false expression becomes true and vice versa. Good, let me, let me show an example. So which is true. Okay, so what do we want to make? Well, we, we can make comparisons, of course. In C, that's absolutely fine. So we can say, for example, 10 is smaller than five. We can put this in, is 10 smaller than five? Let me put this in a, in a bracket for you. So this, this creates a, does it perform a comparison now, running this comparison operator. Um, is, is this statement true or false? What do you think? Is 10 smaller than 5? Of course it's wrong. All right, 10 is not smaller than 5. So if this is not smaller than 5, what kind of output can we expect? Well, we get 0 because 0 represents false, right? We can also make a, a proper statement is 5, 4 smaller than 10. Let me take 4. 4 smaller than 10, okay? Let's compile and run it. Move up again. Truth. Right, so we get zero as output and one as output. Okay, so this statement is false. This statement is true. Now let's apply our truth tables, okay? So we can now com create more complicated equations. We can say, is four smaller than 10 or I know five, uh, 10 smaller than five. How about this? So I can do this very easily. This is an OR, a logical OR that I can combine here. So I have basically written down this little comparison. So we, we compare this number and if this is, um, the, then we do this kind of operation and then we combine it with our kind of logical OR operator. So we can do the same for the AND operator. So this is how we can, for example, use it. So one of them will be true 
but which of them, right? So the, now we would have to understand that or means that and if at least one of these two on the of these expressions is true, then the overall result will be true, right? So is one of them true? Yes, four is smaller than 10. So the end operator means both of them have to be true. Are both of them true? No. 10 is not smaller than five. That means it will be false. Again, you can see this in this truth table, right? So expression one is true, expression two is false. So we get true for the or operator, we get true and false for the end operator, which means the result is false. Let me show you that I speak the truth. Yes, so the result is one, so this is true and this is false. Okay, exactly as we thought it will be.